What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can restore old silver pieces like those. This one is a 1964, if you can read it here. And I don't think it's ever been restored, it's oxidized. Uh, there's no dirt on it. If you wash this with soap, it's not going to do anything. But it's oxidized and it's kind of built up that layer over the silver, the shiny silver. So it needs to be restored. And there is a very simple way to restore these. And I will show you here in a second. This piece is a 1958. So uh, it's over 70 years old, 72 years old. And these are um, treasure for uh, some people. So I'm going to show you how you can bring the shine up to one of these in a very simple way. And the way is citric acid. This five pound bag cost about 20 bucks. And uh, I bought this on eBay. I couldn't find this in any uh, stores here locally. So pure citric acid and hydrous. And uh, this is a food grade. Some people use this for food, but I'm going to show you how effective it is. Uh, for restoring uh, uh, oxidation to remove oxidation of uh, copper or silver pieces so all what you need is just some water the uh, the uh, citric acid and uh, a scrub like this and uh, you just add the citric acid I'll show you here in a minute but before I'm gonna tape half with masking tape I'm gonna tape half this piece just to uh, show you the difference after I uh, restore one side uh, properly here. So let's get working on that Okay, so I'm gonna tape exactly half Okay, so I taped up this part. I'm gonna work on this part. And all what you have to do is just bring some water and add some uh, citric acid to it, like so. Yeah, just saturate the mixture. Okay. Now bring my scrub. Uh, this is this was damp to begin with so it doesn't just absorb all the water kind of mix it see saturated there's a little bit on in the bottom here that you can see so it's saturated mixture okay so at this point it's just a matter of uh, scrubbing and you can see the uh, oxidation just coming right off it's super quick so easy you can uh, use the soft part it's gonna take a little bit longer because the rough part scratches up that layer but you don't want to risk scratching the the actual silver so keep a light pressure as you can see here you start to see that the cleaner part Man, oh man, couldn't you just look at that? Look at the difference here. Wow. 
look at this difference. Um, there is a polishing compound that you can use on these, but um, I mean, check check that check out the difference. It's crazy. It's really really shiny here, and it took me the whole part here. The real time recording of all the scrubbing is four minutes. Four minutes, and check this out. So, getting all this recovered to sh to uh, to steel removing all this 7 year old oxidation and haze it's going to take you 8 minutes how cool is that i mean you can scrub with soap and, and other stuff here for days and you won't be able to get it out so restoring both sides i would say will take 16 minutes altogether and then there's a polishing compound that you can apply on this steel here just like cars and aluminum that can uh, make it even shinier but I mean look at it just like this really nice okay so I'm gonna finish restoring this part Okay, so now after the uh, scrubbing with the citric acid part is done, we had to we had to create this uh, small scratches in order to get that layer removed. But what the citric acid does, it has a chemical reaction with that oxidation surface and neutralize it so you can remove it easily. Now we want to remove these small fine scratches that we created with the uh, with the scrubbing pad, and we're gonna polish it and try and get them out and try to get the shine back to this surface so let's do that okay we're gonna put we're gonna put some of the polishing compound here okay and with a clean microfiber towel we're gonna scrub it in look at that big difference we can even now read the letters and the numbers super shiny looks great all right guys so that was it for today's video if you like it please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section let me know if there's another way that you would like to restore an old piece like this to bring the shine back uh, this is not an expensive piece or anything but I, I rather for it to look like this rather than this so i really like the result i can put it now and store it and seal it okay thanks for watching i appreciate you i'll catch you in the next one